All right, so what's up everybody? Here we are on our way to Charlotte. Milestone, hired somebody new today, um, new acquisitions manager. Wasn't really looking to hire, but um, decided I needed another uh, acquisitions person. Feels good though. Um, I'm hoping she'll be great. I um, strongly believe she'll be good. But uh, it's gonna, gonna be a good change for us good change for me lighten my load a little bit um, right now we are at a pretty good threshold as far as how this year is turning out so far I think we currently have like 14 to, to 17 contracts we got some multifamily we got houses we got land I even got a commercial property under contract lots and lots and lots of different variety of properties um, I got an eight unit apartment complex bunch of single family homes um, got a few infill lots got a large lot my, my six acres is finally gonna close that'll be closing uh, at the end of next month finally after six months of waiting um, I have a, a yeah, eight unit apartment complex the single families I got a commercial property, which you guys got to see also. All that stuff is closing now. Those are long-term closings because of whatever reason. Like the commercial property, they wanna take some of that stuff out. It's got like a million dollars worth of videotapes, literally a million dollars worth of videotapes. Um, there's at least 1 million videotapes in there. And if you sold each one of them for a dollar, you'd make a million. Um, that's pretty cool, you know, all on its own but they want to keep that merchandise. I don't want it anyway. Uh, even if I could sell each one of those videotapes, it would probably take like 10 years to sell them. So closings are, are happening. Closings from a long time ago, closings from now that are finally happening. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming into the pipeline, a lot of follow-ups that we've been uh, bringing in and also a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of fresh deals stuff that we've never talked to before and we're hitting everywhere um in case you guys don't already know i hit about 11 different markets here in the charlotte metro area and uh yeah i've driven every single one of those markets so right now i've been driving but mostly in charlotte and uh, another smaller sub market outside of charlotte and we've been getting deals we, i've been calling some new people that I've never called before. I'm just trying to keep that, that whole thing going, right? But uh, now we're getting into, you know, different territory where we're buying stuff, which is cool too. I mean, I've been buying for the last year. I wouldn't say I'm an aggressive buyer. I've bought like 20, 22 properties since last year. From, from January of last year to now, I've bought 22 properties in a year and six months or a year and five months, whatever it is. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm decently buying. I've bought a few properties this year. I just bought this house right now that we're gonna go uh, pick up some stuff for. Um, I'm gonna pick up the dump trailer, by the way, because my guy, he's not able to go out until tomorrow. So my order at Home Depot is waiting and I gotta go pick it up or else they're gonna cancel the whole thing. So I'd rather just go and get it now, get it over with and deliver it over um i'm not gonna put it in the back of my truck because it's a lot of materials and I, I also have some stuff i'm gonna dump off at my house so if you guys don't know already i live in a rental property um my rental property is owned by goldman sachs funny as that is and the dishwasher went out i got the dishwasher in the back here i'm gonna dump off over there but um i'm gonna pick up these uh these supplies, we're going to get a, a fresh look at my house. They just cut the trees on it. And uh, I want to get a nice view from the outside so you guys can see it before they start replacing the roof and everything. Because it's going to look really different once that blue tarp comes off. And then we're going to start gutting that interior. So enough about my yapping. Let's keep going and uh, head over to Home Depot. Well, actually head over to the house first.
All right, so we made it out here. Uh, they cut the tree down. So there goes the stump. Well, one of them, there was one there and one over there. So we got that settled. That was uh, probably a huge problem here because if you guys notice, I'm gonna try to get on this trailer real quick. I have it open um, just because I, in case one of these guys, they started dumping or, cause I, I thought they were gonna start on the roof already. But the tree branches were basically on the roof. So they couldn't start on getting this thing demoed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, load it up with supplies and come back here and leave all of uh, the building materials in here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do the roof. I'm probably gonna have to replace all this fascia. This fascia is like super, super done. Now that I'm looking at it and I get to see it because before I wasn't able to see it, but uh, I got a few pieces that need to be replaced. Let me jump down here so I don't fall. Um, and then the same guy who cut the tree for me, shout out to Nas for hooking me up with the guy. He's gonna come back here and he's gonna take all this out. It's gonna be, I think he, he told me he was gonna charge me about uh, $2,000 to clear out all the trees from back here and open up this space, which is gonna be good because I, you know, because this is gonna be an Airbnb, I wanna have some open space so that people can like hang out here. I don't know where my property line is. As soon as we finish, like the whole demo work and everything, it's the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have this place surveyed. So that way we can figure out where the property line is because I don't know where the property line is. I don't know if where I'm currently standing at right now <laughs> is a part of my property or is it a part of his property? Um, we've talked to him before, he doesn't wanna sell but I think I'm gonna try to reach out to him and see if he'll give me at least a little portion of his lot. I don't need the whole thing. You know, I don't care that he has the cars. I don't, I don't care about all that. But I wanna know how far can I come, you know, out. What is it? I'm trying to look at something that I see here. I think it's just a post that somebody just put. But uh, I wanna see how far out I can come before I'm in his property because I do wanna put a fence up blocking this out. I don't want to see this. Um, he's not going to move any of those cars. He says he drives them, but uh, I never seen anybody drive with four flat tires on a Jeep before. But no matter what he does, I don't really care. But I, I need to get all this stuff out of here and all this junk out of here and clear this all out. Um, so let's head over to Home Depot. I'm going to load this trailer up and uh, pick up these supplies. All right, so we finally got back and here we go. All the materials loaded up. Um, this stuff is heavy. I actually wasn't gonna bring this trailer, but this thing is completely jam packed with materials. So I'm, I'm actually glad I brought it. I, I didn't think it was gonna fit in my pickup because obviously there's like what, 30, no, there's 27 bundles of of uh of shingles and i was like okay i've put 30 boxes of uh flooring in my truck before and it was already you know full to capacity so i have a bunch of other stuff that they need here they're gonna start on this roof tomorrow i'm super excited oh my god i'm so excited this is uh probably the largest project i've done um i've never and it's funny that i say that i, I own a few houses but like this is probably the deepest and i'm glad it's such a small house that we're starting with I know a lot of guys have done like big full gut renos. Um, so this is like, you know, exciting. This is our first full gut. Uh, all my other houses didn't need a full gut. It was just mostly light cosmetics, you know, floor, paint, drywall, stuff like that. But this thing is gonna look absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to get it started. My project timeline, I'm projecting that we should be done with this property end of July, beginning of August because of the size. Uh, so. As they make progress, we're gonna go ahead and you know, obviously document it and see what the total cost is. This is my, uh, you know, the best thing that I want to I want to show is what the total cost of this place is, and this thing needs everything. I mean, it's not a light Reno, by far, not a light Reno. 
I mean, you can see all this vegetation, we gotta cut it back. The tree, we cut it, cut it off. It was uh, 1,900 to cut the tree off. Um, pretty good deal if, if, if you think about it, because there was two big trees there. So I got two trees done for 1,900 bucks. That's perfect, man. You, people wish they could get those type of prices. I, I'm so glad that Nas hooked me up. Shout out to the real estate guru. He's the one that hooked me up with the tree guy uh, to be able to cut that down. And then he's gonna cut back all this vegetation in the back here because I wanna have a, like a nice little space here. That way these you know people can come, relax. I mean, that's what an Airbnb is for, right? You, you wanna come out here on vacation or you know for work, whatever it might be, and have a nice little area where you can chill, hang out. Um, maybe we'll do some turf back here and put some concrete down. Um, you know, possibilities are endless, but we're gonna find out what we can do after we get this done, right? This is like the most important thing that needs to be done. Uh, we need to fully rental this house first before we can actually do anything extra like, you know, putting concrete and putting turf. Um, you know, just hoping that I can. If not, you know, that's cool too. You know, it's still gonna be nice. It's still gonna be very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys watching this far. Um, just to give you some numbers too, uh, all the roofing materials were about $2,700. And then the labor on the roof is gonna be about $2,500 roughly. Uh, I have the estimate at home, but uh, so gonna get the whole roof redone for about 4,500 bucks. Not bad, you know, decently priced. We're, they're gonna peel off all the old shingles and that's including the roof repair because there's there's um, actually a hole somewhere around there uh, where the wood has rotted out and that's a part of the repair. So I'm, I'm happy we're gonna actually take all these old shingles off. These shingles are beat to crap. And then they're gonna recoat the roof and this roof will be good for 30 years. We got architectural shingles. Um, they have a lifetime warranty on it. I don't know how long lifetime means to them, but uh, by the time, <laughs> A lifetime happens they'll probably be gone but appreciate you guys watching hope you guys enjoyed this vlog uh, i'm gonna go ahead and unhook this trailer and go home it's about seven o'clock at night and i'll catch you guys on another vlog <laughs>